Okay, so we're going to apply every single exponent law we learned with multiplying powers, dividing powers, and power of a power to simplify these questions. So in this first question we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 5 to the power of 3. Which part of this expression should I simplify first? The first part, which is um, x to the power Because we have an exponent, we still need to follow bed mass. I have here x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 5 to the power of 3. That's an exponent. Okay? So we're just going to simplify this first part to say x to the power of 2 times, well, what's x to the power of 5 to the power of 3? x to the power of 15. Okay? So now I've simplified this into two powers. I want to write this as a single power. What happens when we multiply powers with the same base? Write the base and add the exponent, so it's x to the power of 17. Good. Next example, I have a to the power of 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by a to the power of 5. So what is a to the power of 4 to the power of 2? Yep. Good. a to the power of 8. I'm simplifying my power of a power first, and then that's going to be multiplied by a to the power of 5. So again, multiplying powers with the same base. Write the base, and what do we do with the exponents? Add 8 plus 5, 13. And this is a single power. If y to the power of 3 to the power of 3 can be simplified as... Um, do you want me to just simplify or do yeah. you want me to do all the steps? Yeah, do all the steps. So okay, y... So it would be y to the power of 9 Good. times y to the power of 8. Good. Times power, power of a power and first. Then Good. Perfect. Now we know we have to add the exponents. 9 plus 8 is 17. y to the power of 17. Good. What about d? x times x to the power of 7 to the power of 2 times x to the power of 4. Which part of this expression should we simplify first? x to the power of 7 to the power of 2. Good. Our power of a power. So we have x. Can I put an exponent there? There's no exponent written. What can we write? To the power of 1, same thing, times what's x to the power of 7 to the power of 2? x to the power of 14 times x to the power of 4. Now we have, we're multiplying powers with the same base. We add all the exponents together, 1 plus 4 plus 4 is x to the power of 19, good. Okay, so let's read this. It's a to the power of 6 to the power of 2 times a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 7. What do we want to simplify first? Which part? Lawrence? a to the power of 6 to the power of 2. Good. What does that become? a to the power of 12. That's going to be multiplied by a to the power of 5, and then that's all going to be divided by a to the power of 7. So let's simplify our numerator. Multiplying powers. a to the power of 17 divided by a to the power of 7. Now we're dividing powers. What do we do with the exponents? Subtract. Subtract. So the answer is a to the power of 10. Good. Okay, so we have x to the power of 8 to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2 to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 3 to the power of 7 times x to the power of 1. Okay, first part that we want to simplify, Ernest. We multiply 8 times 3 to simplify the power of the power. What is it? x to the power of... 24, and then we want to simplify 2 times 4, good. So that becomes x to the power of 8. Now I'm multiplying these two together, but let's simplify the denominator. x to the power of 3 to the power of 7 becomes x to the power of 21, good. And that's being multiplied by 
just x to the power of 1. Okay, we still don't have a single power. We still need to simplify this. What operation is the numerator? What are we doing there? Yeah, we're multiplying powers, so we have to add the exponents. So we end up with x to the power of 32 divided by x to the power of, we add the exponents, 21 plus 1 is 22. Now we have division. What do we do when we divide powers? Subtract. So it becomes x to the power of, and that's the final answer. Made with DoodleCast Pro.